Sup lads, welcome back to another video, another transfer roundup, probably the last one before the season starts. Maybe I could sneak one more in tomorrow um, about uh, a certain man's five replacements. You've probably seen it on the title and the thumbnail, so let's talk about him straight away. Um, Yannick Bestergaard, uh, I talked about this in my last transfer roundup video, obviously the best place to hear your Slampton news on this channel, of course. Um, uh, no, I'm joking, but uh, Yannick Vestergaard, um, uh, going to Leicester, apparently, a fee agreed of £14 million, just £1 million in add-ons. Um, not ideal, I'd say. I would have liked a bit more, maybe £20 million upwards, I'd say. Um, you know, I appreciate he's in the last year of his contract, and I appreciate he's 29, um, and you can't get the highest of fees for 29-year-old players, but, you know, he's proved he, he can be decent last year, um, you know, and... And he's a, he's a good defender, I think, on his day. I think when in his first couple of years for us, he was quite poor. He was in and out of the team, uh, was never getting consistent. But when he came in this season, he played very well, I must say. Uh, especially at the start of the season, he was immense. Um, and, you know, his aerial ability from set pieces we missed. But hopefully we can replace him with someone else. We'll probably be talking about it. I will do a video at some point on five players to replace Vestergaard. But maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, we'll have to wait and see. So... Um, probably not Saturday actually because I have a match reaction on there for the other two games. It's a busy, busy time on this channel, isn't it? But um, yeah, I think uh, it's not the end of the world. It's not as bad as the Ings transfer, and it certainly won't be as bad as if we lose Ward Prowse. But um, we have a disappointing one minute club, I think, for three years. Joining 2018 from Minchin Club back for 22.5 million. So it is about a £7 million, £7-8 million loss, which isn't ideal, but at least we're not losing him for free next summer. I think I would rather, always rather, you know, lose a player for £15 million hit, um, now than lose him for free next summer, I think. So, you know, I don't think he really want to be at the club anyway. I think he said he wanted a new challenge, so I think that's fair enough. Um, and, you know, he didn't prove that he was an immense, and I don't think he, he proved that he was too good for us. I, um, but again, when Fafana comes back, we, it depends how he plays at Leicester. You know, he could be become the best centre-back in the league, and he could, well, he could kind of flop, which probably he won't because it is Leicester. They only hardly have any flops. But, um, yeah, I think he'll be good because obviously Fafana, Sally uh, broke his leg. Uh, against Villarreal and that friendly, so they're obviously looking for a replacement there, and I think Yannick will be a de decent replacement for them, and he'll have good competition, obviously, like so, so I think uh, Evans are there as well, Bertrand, I think, can even play centre back, Amato is playing then the community shield, obviously linking back up with Bertrand, because uh, he went to, he left us this summer to go to Leicester as well, popular uh, destination, isn't it, Leicester, but yeah, best luck to Yannick, uh, I'll probably talk about one more in another transfer roundup video when it is actually confirmed, and apparently he's having his medical today, so, um, yeah, not sure when his contract is there, but uh, well, I'll give you the details probably in the next one for another video, and I know more. So, second player we need to talk about, Armando Roja confirmed uh, loan deal from Chelsea. I believe this was confirmed the day after I was talking about it um, on the last chance roundup video on loan from Chelsea. 19 years of age, I don't talk about him too much, so I did go into quite a bit of detail in uh, the last video. But yeah, good signing, new will provide competition. He won't come into the first team straight away, I don't think. Um, but yeah, in case we have injuries, it's entirely possible, you know. Um, Adams doesn't really get many injuries. Not sure about Armstrong. I think he can. He mainly stays fit. Uh, Long and Obafemi are quite injury prone though. So especially Obafemi, I think he got quite a big injury last year. And Obafemi is a player we'll talk about later actually. But um, yeah, I think he'll be good. And you know, hopefully he's good. You know, he. I think he can be a good presence coming off the bench sometimes when we're chasing a game because he's still always quick apparently as well. So. You know, that'll be decent for a substitute player. And obviously, we want to break into the first team. Chelsea want him to play first team football. So, hopefully, he can get that with us. Uh, second, third player, sorry, we're going to talk about is Adam Armstrong again, confirmed. Uh, same day as uh, Armando Broja, actually, to, uh, just a few hours later. Uh, fee of around £15 million, pounds, contract until 2025. So, a long term deal for him. Um, yeah, good deal. £15 million. Pounds. I think he was pretty much our ideal Ings replacement, pretty much. Um, and yeah, when when we were talking about it on the last chance run video, I did mention he's gonna have his medical. Uh, I think I did that video on Monday. He was gonna have a medical on Tuesday. That happens, and then he signed. So all uh, good there. Um, and yeah, I think he'll be good for us. Hopefully, probably will I expect him to play against Everton. I don't think so. I think I may he'll maybe on the bench, and probably Adams or Obafemiol and Adams will probably certainly start, and Obafemiol long up partnering up from maybe even Brohack come in. Uh, doubt it, but you never know. Um, 
And yeah, I think Armstrong will be a good signing for us, hopefully. Uh, and, you know, 15 million, I think, is a good bit of business for him. Right, fourth player we're talking about is Michael Buffon. A bit of an interesting one, this. There's reports of the interest from Blackburn, as obviously they look to replace Adam Armstrong. Apparently, a fee was agreed in the region of £6 million for him, which I definitely would have, wouldn't have wanted to see Albert Femi leave, but apparently did reject Blackburn. So that shows ambition. I like that from Albert Femi, that he wants to get in the first team, he wants to play Premier League football for us. I wouldn't maybe mind him seeing going out on loans, maybe to a Blackburn or something like that, but because, you know, we do have a lot of strikers now, Asims, Armstrong, Long, um, Braha now as well. So um, for two, there's five strikers for two striker places, so that will be very hard to break into for Albert Femi. Um, but uh, yeah, I would maybe like him to go out on loan to Blackburn, but definitely not a permanent deal. But as I said, apparently he has rejected the deal and his contract does actually run out, I think, next year in 2022. So hopefully he can sign a new contract soon. Because, you know, I quite like Obafemi. I think he, he's quite a good presence to have around the dressing room. But not just that, he's a good young footballer. So at the end of the day, um, so I think, you know, he's proved he can score goals as well. He scored a few goals for us. Um, so I think he'll be decent. I think, you know, we need to keep hold of him. Um, considering Long's 34, Bro has on a season long loan, those two will probably uh, leave at the end of next year. Long's contract does run out, so that leaves us with Armstrong, Adams, and just Oba Femi. Now, these are three strikers, so I think we definitely need to keep hold of him because I don't, I can't see us keeping Bro uh, after the season. Chelsea only wanted to let him go out, go out on a one year loan. Um, there's no option to buy there, and his contract's running out until 2026, so obviously they want to keep him. I think he only signed his new contract this summer, so I can't see us keeping him on this season. So I think we definitely need to keep up with him because otherwise we lose him as well. That's two strikers we have for next season Adams and Armstrong, so it's not promising. Is it? I guess we do have a Lulu coming back from loan, but will he be ready to come back into a Premier League team straight after League One? I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, uh, it's good. I think that Obafemi is staying. And the last player we're talking about. James or Prowse. Um, luckily, I don't think anything major is happening. Um, apparently, there's just a few rumours uh, that Villa and Spurs are going to bid for him. Obviously, Villa already bid once, but I was rejected. Um, and Spurs, they haven't bid yet, but hopefully they don't get it. They've already got Hoiberg. Why do they need uh, Wall Prowse for? I don't get it. I know they're two different players, but come on, leave us alone. Go, 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 someone else. Come on, Spurs. But, um, yeah, I think... Uh, I'm not sure how what the club will be willing to sell for. I think... They'd be maybe willing to sell for upwards of 50 million, but to be honest, call me crazy, but I wouldn't sell him for less than 70 mil. You know, there's no need to sell him. You know, his contract runs out in 2025. He's shown no desire to leave. Oh, uh, not that we know of anyway. Uh, hopefully he hasn't. Um, but again, so there's no need to sell him. So 70 mil upwards, I'd take. You know, he's not, he's not 70 mil. I'm not saying he's worth 70 million. I wouldn't pay 70 million for him, but I'm saying that's what he's worth to the club. It's like, really, he's not worth 100 million, but he's worth 100 million to Villa. Or perhaps as well, 70 million to us, I think. So, you know, and if we can get 75 mil for Van Dyke, why, why, why can't we get that for Wall Prowse? You know, they're arguably, as in, I think Wall Prowse is more important to the team than Van Dyke was, to be honest. So, um, why not 70 mil? So, uh, yeah, it's going to have to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, uh, none of the other players leave uh, Wall Prowse or Femi. Um, and I'll try and get some more players. Rumours were coming in uh, in the next video. So, um, yeah, hopefully that'll happen. Uh, more players coming in, and again, in the next transfer up video will probably be um, the replacement for this goal whether tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. And match reaction against Everton should be up. And also, guys, I have got tickets for the Saints Man United game, so I won't do any any like a match draw or anything. But I'll try and get a few clips from the game and I'll put them on here for you guys. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that will be good. Hopefully we can win that one. Hopefully we win every game this season. Uh, it's not uh, we're not, but you know we we can always dream. We can always dream. So yeah, thank you very much today, guys. Um, if you like, if you enjoy, and subscribe if you are new around here. As I, mean, I said, season starts in just a couple of days for all Saints. So, uh, yeah, my attractions are going to be coming back on the channel. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much, guys, and I will see you soon.